and welcome. In our lesson today, we are going to discuss classification 1. Now, classification can be defined as such. Grouping of organisms according to two things. Number one, similarities in their structure. And two, their evolutionary relationships. Now, what are the reasons for classifying organisms? Number one, it places organisms into correct groups for easy reference. Number two, it arranges information in an orderly manner. This, of course, prevents confusion. Number three is that it brings together organisms that have similar characteristics and separates those that have different characteristics. So you find that in one group, you're going to have organisms that have similar features to one another, while those that have different features are going to belong in a different group. The groups that organisms are placed into during classification are known as taxa. A single one is a taxon. So there are seven taxonomic units, the largest one being kingdom, followed by phylum, class, order, family, genus, and lastly species being the smallest one. Now let us start with the kingdoms. So there are five kingdoms in which organisms are placed into. Now an organism can only belong in one kingdom and no more. So we have monera, protoctista, fungi, plantae, and lastly animalia. So you can clearly see that there are different examples for every organism. Now let's start with the monera. In this kingdom, you only have bacteria and no more. So you're going to have different species of bacteria. Now in the next kingdom, protoctista, this is where you have algae and protozoa. Fungi, in fungi, this is where you have the bird mold. You have the mushrooms and the yeast cells. Plantae, of course, you're going to have different types of plants. And then animalia, this is where you have the animal. Okay, let's try out these quick questions and test ourselves. Now, place the following organisms into their respective kingdoms. Bacteria, yeast cells, and lastly, the amoeba. So the bacteria belong to kingdom monera, yeast cells, fungi, and lastly, the amoeba belong to kingdom protoctista. And there we have it. So how many did you get right? I hope it was all of them. Now let's proceed to species. So this is the smallest unit of classification whose members can naturally interbreed to produce fertile offsprings. Now from this definition, there are two things of importance. Number one is that members that belong or organisms that belong to the same species have the ability to naturally mate with one another without any intervention whatsoever to produce fertile offsprings. Now what does this mean? When you have two organisms belonging to the same species, successfully interbreeding with one another to produce an offspring and then the offspring then goes on to reproduce and have offsprings of its own then this is what is termed as a fertile offspring example of a species is human beings whose scientific name is homo sapiens and zia maize which is the scientific name for maize and that brings us to the end of our lesson today short but sweet I hope to see you next time. If you haven't subscribed, please do so.